I got a few sales, I'm gonna put $5,000 into it. What is up guys, Daddy's here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something a lot of YouTubers don't, I don't really see talk about, um, but Facebook ads and basically like why you aren't getting conversions or even traffic um, in some cases, right? And there's a few key things that I wanna touch on. I have my Mac here, I got my notes out for you guys, but basically huge, huge, huge outliers or factors that a lot of people don't, or a lot of people like stepping into the Facebook ad industry um, kind of aren't really aware of or they just aren't familiar with yet. And and you know, just not knowing some of this stuff is a huge, huge reason why is, you know some people just don't really see uh, results with Facebook ads, and they just give up. You know, because I know more than one of you guys watching this video has tested Facebook ads, has done some sort of campaign, ran an ad set, and either you know got traffic but no conversions, not even an ad to cart, or just ran ads and literally had nothing happen, um, which is a problem, right? So obviously, right. Um, Facebook isn't the issue, it's it's the ad that you're running and it's more than just you know the, the thing that customers see, right? It's basically, there's a few key things that we want to touch on for you guys um, and I'm gonna kinda go over basically just how to create basically a good testing campaign to just get your initial traction right off the door, right? So hold on, how many ads are you running, right? So if you currently are running you know, Facebook ads, how many different um, ads or ad sets are, are you running, right? Simultaneously, right? A lot of you guys, for starting off, you only run one. Um, that's a huge mistake, okay? So, again, how many are you actually running? My my personal preference, right? There's a few th ways that you want to do it, but um, just to start off, you can do three different ads, anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars a day. Um, that's a good starting point, and then um, you know, it, depending on your budget, right? If you can only afford, you know, five dollars a day for your ads and stuff like that, like really, guys, you, you probably shouldn't be testing ads quite yet. Um, just cause, just cause, like, look. So if you're in the e-commerce space, right? There, there's it's a numbers game, right? So I want to actually tell you guys why you shouldn't be testing with five dollars a day anymore. Um, basically, for you guys, just you know, testing um, and getting started with e-commerce, right? Your cost to get someone to purchase a product, right? Your cost per conversion, right? Might be anywhere. From, I mean, it can be pretty low. It can be pretty expensive, but you know, it might be six dollars. Right, if you're selling, for example, say you're selling a $50 product, right? It could be six dollars, eight dollars, it could be three dollars, two dollars, it could be any number, right? But if you're only testing five dollars a day, there's no real way to kind of determine, hey, is this ad actually converting, right? Because if you're only testing five dollars a day and your actual conversion rate, right? Imagine if you had you know a $50 daily budget, right? Um, say for instance that conversion rate was $650, right? You wouldn't have found out with that five dollar um, daily ad spend, right? So again, a good number for testing, right, is 15 to 20 dollars a day. Basically, after that first day, um, you can basically cut it after, um, after 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 that first day if you have no no sales, right? But if you walk out of that day with you know two or three sales, only spending 15 20 dollars, then you kind of know, hey, this could be a promising one. This might be something I want to scale um, and then look into that, right? So again, how many ads are you running? You can like literally, you can start with three. I definitely would not have one or two, but three is a good number. Five is a good number. Um, if you can afford more, do more, right? Because again, experimenting is key. Because even when you find a good ad set, you want to actually decrease, you know, the, the cost per conversion, cost per click, cost per impression, whatever it is that you're targeting for, you want to decrease that. So again, experimentation is everything. So the more you can, the more you should. All right. Now, next one, what is your budget? I know I just went over this, but basically this is something that you guys need to get in your head, especially for you e-commerce dropshippers out there watching this. Basically, $15, $20 a day is a good setting point for daily ad spend per ad, okay? $5 a day is all right. Like you can get away with it, guys. But again, what I explained in the last scenario, that has a chance of happening just because um, a lot of you guys just starting off with Facebook ads, right? It's not like your ads are gonna be 100% completely optimized already after your first initial experiment, right? So I would assume that you're going to have higher cost per conversions than, you know, a few months down the line after you've been experimenting constantly, right? So again, $5 a day the ad spend is a little bit iffy there. If you can do $15 or $20 a day, okay? Now, next, what is most important, right? I get a lot of you guys that reach out to me and um, ask me like, hey, why is my Facebook ad not converting? Why am I getting traffic but no ad to cart or conversions? Why is nothing happening, right? The first thing you guys show me though is your actual ad is the picture, is the copy you guys use. That's the least important part of a Facebook ad, guys, okay? This is the thing. I would say roughly 50% of the actual kind of ad creation process is you're researching the audience, right? So your actual audience research, right? Figuring out who is actually going to buy or you know, like the, the, the type of person, the demographic, whatever it is, like who's actually buying your product, right? That is 50% of it, okay? And then I'd say 20% is actually like the funnel, the flow, like purchase flow, basically like, hey, how do they go from the ad to actually, you know, entering the credit card? That, that right there is fairly important. Um, and then it comes down to like tactics, basically. Um, I'll get into this um, in a second, but 
just like how you're competing against everyone else um, and then it comes down to your actual ad creation like that part guys like yes it's important but it's not the most important thing so when you guys are having trouble don't look at your actual picture or copy first guys most likely it's coming down to who you're actually showing that stuff to okay because again you can get away because I've seen people you know use AliExpress pictures instead of you know good content and they can convert well with ads just because their targeting is really spot on um, and that allows them to just drill into who is actually going to want to purchase their product right so that's that and again guys the thing the last thing I want to like point out right um, that a lot of people don't really understand basically right how people how most people like when you start Facebook ads, they, they kind of assume or think when they're getting into like oh I'm paying Facebook this much money because this is how much money I need to pay Facebook to get someone to buy my product right um, that, that's kind of like their mentality okay but what's really going on right is you're competing against all your competition who's trying to target that same audience okay or that same person who's gonna buy your product right that's what dictates basically the car that, that's a huge factor in what dictates the cost of your results okay and so going from that right especially when you guys get into manual bidding right I'm gonna get into this um, or at least I'm gonna go a little bit in depth in this video um, just a little bit but basically guys when you get into manual bidding and stuff there's a reason like when you're testing manual bidding right there's a reason you kind of want to be on your laptop for that entire day that you're kind of testing the numbers it's because right for instance if, if you have automatic bidding on right it's you not necessarily have to worry about it too much um, at least to start off but if you're manually bidding trying to scale right so say for instance you need to maximum like bid amount right to uh, like ten dollars or something right you need to keep increasing that and then basically when you stop seeing sales come in that's when you know you've hit like competition that might be kind of hard to explain to you guys um, it's a little tricky kind of just explain with words but basically what I'm trying to say is when you're manually bidding right you're increasing you know the actual amount that you personally are okay with Facebook using to try and get someone to buy your product okay and now say you have a like th this is the problem with scaling right this might be why some of you guys have are having trouble scaling it's because maybe you're on a say for instance you're on like a hundred dollars a day budget and it's on automatic bidding and then you switch it to manual bidding to try and you know decrease um, you know your cost per convert whatever it is right or you're just trying to get more sales and like actually start scaling it up when you guys change that manual bid value like to the amount that you're okay with and stuff you might see sales like trickle and trickle and trickle in but then they might stop all of a sudden okay this might be an issue you guys run into down the road or might be an issue you guys already have run into and basically what that means is that you've hit a competitor that's actually bidding you know better than you or higher than you okay which means that like you need to actually beat them like again it's, it's more of like a it's like tactical warfare in a way right you're competing against these competitors trying to outbid them guys it's an auction Facebook's like everything you're paying for is it's an auction okay Facebook is auctioning off us these people using Facebook to these companies okay whoever wants to pay more gets it 